You're listening to an SJC Radio exclusive podcast. SJC Radio, your school, your sound. SJC Radio, your school, your sound. We are live in the studio with Patrick White, the director, producer, writer, creator, everything of Murphy's Law. Pat, how you doing? I am great, Dylan. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So this is your first radio interview. This this is my first radio interview, yes. Well, thank you for losing your radio virginity with us today. We are very ha- happy to have you. I am happy to have my radio cherry popped with you, Dylan. Yes, yes. Well, we hope we can do a good job for you and make you uh, enjoy <laughs> all it. All right, all right. I like where this is going. Uh, tell us a little about yourself. I mean, who is Patrick White? Patrick White? There's really not much to know. I mean, I guess I'm just your... Uh... Your typical 22-year-old who just happens to be an actor. And, you know, I I like going to the gym. So 22-year-old stuff. I uh, like health and fitness. Uh, I am always outdoors. I enjoy surfing. I'm not very good. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> uh, snowboarding. Hiking. Hiking is, is fun. I like to do that. I, uh, I am frequently upstate in New York climbing mountains. Wow. So it sounds like you're always outside. How do you have time to work on a movie? Uh, you just have to, you know, you have to want it bad enough. I mean, I'm taking some time off of all of that other stuff I enjoy to work on this project, you know? So tell us a little bit about this project. What is Murphy's Law? Murphy's Law is the story about my character, Murphy, and basically how his luck just runs out. And for those who don't know, Murphy's Law is the theory that Anything bad that can go wrong will go wrong. And basically that's where it happens in this film. You know, he, everyone has one of those days where just nothing seems to go right. And that's that's what happens here with Murphy. You know, he can't catch a break. Some of the situations that he finds himself in are just hilarious from an outside perspective, you know. And basically, you know, watching my character try and figure out what's going on is a part of what helps you relate to him because in those situations you genuinely don't understand sometimes how you get through it in one piece, you know? And that is that is why Murphy's Law is awesome. <laughs> well, Yeah. We've got more with Pat White coming up in just a little bit. Stay tuned. You're listening to SJC Radio, the best radio station on Long Island. <laughs> Wait, what? We're not the best radio station on Long Island? Oh, uh, that's awkward. SJC Radio, the best radio station at St. Joseph's College. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Can you Hey, this is Frankie Munez, and you're listening to SJC Radio. We're back in the studio live with Murphy's Law star, Patrick White. Pat... Now, this story is loosely based off of your life, and I was uh, I was doing some searching, and I was doing some reading, and uh, I heard some uh, interesting stories about Patrick White from uh, some of his close friends and family. Uh, what's this about a hypodermic needle stabbing you oh, in the buttocks? It was not in my butt. Mm, okay, that's, that, not, that's not what I have here. That, that, that is not what happened. Okay, what that. had happened was I was... In high school and in my English class, for whatever reason, there was there was a blood drive like a couple <laughs> days before, so some kids snagged a bunch of needles. Who, who are you friends with? I I wasn't friends with him. <laughs> I, I don't know who it was. And uh, yeah, he made a blow dart and shot me in my thigh in the middle of my English class. And... Yeah, uh, that was that was fun. They thought I had AIDS for a little bit, but <laughs> I don't. For everyone listening, I do not have AIDS. Oh well, this just in, folks. Patrick White does not have AIDS. That that is uh, <laughs> that is a plus. Yes. All that, right, all right. So that's that's one. Story. Will that be included in Murphy's Law? No, no. That is just one of my many redeeming qualities: is what not a- having AIDS. <laughs> what about the uh, the story of being stabbed Ooh. in the back with a windbreaker? That is story that, is, that is not included in Murphy's Law. Either? That is also not included in Murphy's right, well, Law. Well, what is this this windbreaker story? If you ask any of my friends, they will give you a completely different story. And believe it or not, there was no windbreaker. What? Some people are insistent there was a windbreaker, and that's actually a pretty important part of the story. But there there was no windbreaker. What is the story then? For all of our listeners, what is the real 
story of the windbreaker? I was skateboarding in front of my house with my friends, and there was a neighborhood kid who was friends with my brother who, I guess, thought he was ninja-like okay. with a carpenter knife, I guess. <laughs> And there was a box in front of my house, and he, you know, he was throwing the knife at it and cutting up the box. And I told him, "Stop doing that! You're gonna stab somebody." Oh, okay. And he got pissy and threw the knife. So I picked it up and I chucked it against the ground. And apparently, it was his dad's knife, and I, I chipped a part of the blade, and that apparently pissed him off. So his, his choice was to react by turning around and throwing the knife directly into my kidneys. Wow. Yeah, I got stabbed in my kidney. That was that was uh another example of Murphy's law at 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 work right there. Now you weren't wearing a room breaker? Though? I was wearing a <laughs> zip up sweatshirt. Sounds like a windbreaker. It you know what? Okay, I was wearing a windbreaker. No, that that is... Uh, it is an important part of the story because everyone, for whatever reason, I don't know why they don't get grossed out by this, but they are always asking me, you know, did it stick in my back? Okay. And I don't... For all of you people who had an active childhood, when you're wearing a zip-up jacket slash windbreaker, right, right. when you go to run, it kind of flaps in the breeze oh, like, a, like a cape. Oh, God. So when it pinned the knife into my back, it kind of popped it out oh. with the cape slash windbreaker slash... This was a carpenter's knife. Yeah, that was... Was there any concern of, like, getting a disease from you getting stabbed with a carpenter's knife? They, uh... They, <laughs> they thought I had AIDS. No, I'm oh, just kidding. with the AIDS. There they, you. uh... They... I guess they gave me a tetanus shot. I don't know. This was a while ago. I mean, the worst experience out of all of that was when I got to the hospital and instead of, you know, I guess doing what normal doctors do to find out how deep a, a stab wound is, this nurse thought that the best course of action was to throw gloves on and shove her fingers in my stab wound. Oh, <laughs> So, yeah, I, I had that nurse. That was my luck. Wow. That sounds like Murphy's Law. Yep. There's a, there's a lot of stories about how Murphy's Law pertains to my life. All right. Well, we'll hear more about that, and hopefully we'll see some of that in the movie. So uh, we'll be back with Patrick White right after this. Back with Patrick White here at SJC Radio, your school, your sound. Pat, you hanging in there? I, I'm hanging in there, yeah. Yeah, we haven't scared you too much yet? No, just uh, a little weird with the touching, but I'm okay. Who is doing what touching? You, uh, uh we're... T- <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to call me out on radio. <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. We are, we're doing here, we're doing well here, Pat. Now, Pat, this is your first time <laughs> producing... Directing, writing, doing all this stuff, right? It is my first completed script. It is my first time producing, yes. And it is my first time doing all of these things together. Wow. So it, it has been a learning experience, to say the least. So you started out as an actor, 
and now you're starting to mold, starting to mold yourself into more of the behind the scenes. It's n- not just that. I mean, producing is extremely rewarding in its own. You know, you you learn a lot of different processes. You earn a lot of respect for a lot of the jobs that you weren't really aware of when you were in front of the camera. You know, producing, there's so much that goes into pre-production, which is the process that we're still in on Murphy's Law, that you don't know about unless you make yourself aware. So learning about all of that has been an awesome experience. It's been extremely rewarding, and it just makes me want to create this project even more. Why are you creating Murphy's Law? What is... what? What did Murphy come from? What What is it all about? Uh, as I said before, Murphy's Law is the theory that anything bad that can go wrong will go wrong, and that has been the last year of my life, essentially. And uh, basically, my year started out great, you know, beautiful girlfriend, beautiful job, that, not really beautiful, it's a nice place, but it was, <laughs> it's a great place to work, and it, it seemed like things were going great, and then things started to go wrong. You know, my uncle had passed away, and my father had to go down to Florida for the funeral. And while my dad was away, my mom had gotten sick and was diagnosed with cancer. And on top of all of this, not long after she was diagnosed, I was sitting at a red light, and I was T-boned in my brand new car that I just bought. And, you know, things seemed like they were hitting rock bottom, and then my mother passed away. My, uh, my mom was one of my biggest supporters when it came to my acting, and she would always talk about how proud she was that I was going after what I wanted. And when she passed away, you know, I was, I was sort of in a fog, and writing this story helped me, you know, find my way through that fog. And now I'm bringing to life that story that, you know, it quite honestly helped me fight my way out of depression. And I, I want to laugh at my pain as well as I want everybody else to laugh at my pain. Well, we hope to laugh at your pain, not in a mean way, but I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this movie. You said that it was in pre-production. When, do you, when are we expecting this film to come out? Uh, right now, with everything that's going on, and hopefully the Kickstarter is successful, uh, we are looking to finish, we'll start principal photography around mid-September. We want to finish principal photography around, I want to say the first week of October. We want to hope to be almost finished with post-production by the end of the year. We are hoping to be a part of the festival circuit in 2016. You know, we want to submit to a lot of festivals all over the country. You know, the more money that we we generate from this Kickstarter campaign, the more festivals we can reach and the more people get to see the shitty day that I get to have as Murphy. Oh, all right. Well, we've got more to talk about with Pat White talking about his Kickstarter. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. Hi, this is Dave Coulier and you're listening to SJC Radio. That stands for Super Jock... Cool, yay. No, wait, no, it doesn't. Okay, <laughs> all right. I just told myself to cut it out. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's a heart, there's a heart, a hand to hold on to. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's a face. Somebody who needs you. Outrageous. Always. Rage us? <laughs> Never! We're SJC Radio. Your school, your sound. We're back with Patrick White here at SJC Radio, your school, your sound. Pat, uh, over the break you were talking about your spirit animal is Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Yes, you heard that right, Dylan. Yes, you did. All right, so Matthew McConaughey, whatever his name is, and beatboxing? I hear you You, uh, you dabble I, with some beatboxing. I don't actually, I've never, <laughs> never beatboxed before. That wasn't me. That you, was... you just, all over my face, you just spat all over it. I uh, I normally charge people for that, Dylan. So that oh, one's a free. I'm movie, honored. Right? I'm honored. Now, uh, Pat, I know this isn't your only uh, form of advertising or your only interview. What else do you got planned for uh, Murphy's Law? How do you uh, get it out there? This is my only scheduled radio interview so far. 
but I do have some online stuff. There's a couple of online blogs and magazines that are going to have some written interviews with me, and I am also hosting a Twitter Q&A about Murphy's Law Saturday the 18th. And there is some other stuff that may be happening, but it may not be happening, so I'm going to keep those to myself for now. What's your Twitter handle again? My Twitter handle is at Patrick White underscore, or you could follow me at the Murphy's Law Movie Twitter, at Murph Law Movie. Right, so you're really, you're really working hard to get this out there, huh? Uh, I am. I have not slept more than four hours in twenty-five years. No, I'm kidding. I oh, you I never just uh, I thank you. Doesn't show at all. It's it's the red beard. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, I am I'm working hard. Uh, there's a lot more that we have to do, but there has been a lot done already. Oh well, we are really rooting for you, and we're excited to see the film again. If you want to donate to Pat and Murphy's Law, go to kickstarter.com search murphy's law or you can check it out on my website patrickwhiteactor.com and it will link to the kickstarter where you can donate or you could follow me on twitter at patrick white underscore terrific terrific all right we've got more with pat white right after this what's up i'm andy Grammer, and you're keeping your head up with sjc radio you gotta keep your head up oh, and you can let your head down Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. With SJC Radio. SJC Radio, your school, your sound. You're listening to SJC Radio. Your school, your sound. SJC Radio, your school, your sound. We're back with Patrick White and Murphy's Law. Pat, everyone wants to support you. How can we go about doing it? How can we donate? How can we help? You can go to my website, patrickwhiteactor.com, and you can find out more about the project. It links to the Kickstarter, where you guys can give me your money if you want to see this project get made. The budget is not a substantial budget. You know, we're we're trying to work with as little as possible to get it done, but still given a quality project, you know, we just really want to make a great film. Yeah, you know, it... It is a it's a great project. You know, there's a lot here for everyone to enjoy. It's funny. My character, Murphy, you know, he finds himself in a lot of funny situations. We can all relate to at some point or another. You know, it's not only that. There's there's so much that can be done to make this project, you know, a huge success. And who doesn't want to be able to say that they're a part of something like that from the very beginning? Well, what's the plan for Murphy's Law? So you put on a great movie. Everyone's enjoying it. What's the plan? Where do we hope to take this movie? Well, you know, the money that we are getting from the Kickstarter is going to allow us to shoot on a great camera, give you guys great quality films, some great audio, and we want to be able to get some great minds involved behind the camera. A lot of this is also going to allow us to submit to festivals. You know, I touched on that before. The more money we raise, the more festivals we can, you know, submit to and get a part of. And the more people that we can reach, you know, we also plan to after the festival circuit if murphy's law is received as well as we hope it will and we think it will be then we plan to adapt murphy's law into a series there's there's so much that we can do with it you know as far as a series we already have plenty of ways to continue this story so we would love to have you guys laugh at my pain for more episodes to come well pat we thank you very much for being here today And uh, we look forward to hearing more about Murphy's Law. If you have any questions or you want to donate, go to Pat's website at patrickwhiteactor.com or you can follow me on Twitter at patrickwhite underscore and you can check out Murphy's Law on Twitter at murphlawmovie. Well, this has been an SJC exclusive with none other than Patrick White. Pat, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Dylan. I've had a blast. This was a lot of fun. Great. Well, we look forward to hearing great things from you. All right. All right. This is SJC Radio, your school, your sound. Patrick White, thanks again. This has been an SJC Radio exclusive podcast. SJC Radio, your school, your sound.